Hi, welcome to chapter one of the Effortless Success audiobook. In this first chapter, I want to talk about a more specific uh, process for developing a business, especially developing a product. It could also be a service. But I want to talk about sort of the step-by-step -step process. How do you do it? How do you do it as a bootstrapper? Now, a bootstrapper is someone who has very little money to begin with. If you have tens of thousands of dollars to start your business, well, then maybe you don't need to follow this um, system. But but actually, I think you should still follow this, <laughs> this method. Um, but if you don't have that uh, money, if you're starting your business with $100 or $200 or even less, well, then you really need to follow a, uh, a system for slowly building and developing your business, right? You have to be careful because you don't have much money. So I'm going to talk about this system. It's a system that I used. It's a system that a lot of entrepreneurs use. And uh, let's go ahead and get started then and talk about the step-by-step -step process, starting your business. Okay, here's, here's how, we, how we do it. Number one, you need to create a cheap demo, a cheap demo version of your product or service. Now, what is that? What does that mean exactly? If you have a product, it means you create a quick, fast, cheap version of your product. What does that mean? It means you don't worry about being perfect. It's not going to be perfect. The quality might be, you know, so-so. You're not really sure exactly what the product needs to be like or needs to do. You have some general ideas. So you just make something fast. Okay, speed is important when you start your own business. Okay, so you do not worry about perfection. Do not worry about perfect plans. There's no foolproof method. There's no foolproof product. There's no foolproof plan. Okay, do not try to create a finished product in the beginning. It's a bad idea for several reasons. Number one, it takes a long time and a lot of money to create a perfect, really good, finished product. But there's an even more important reason why you need to start with a demo, a cheap demo. Because you really don't know what you need to do. You think you know. You think you maybe you have a strong idea of what your product should be like. But you're probably wrong. What you need is input, feedback from real customers. Because when you start selling your product, you're going to start interacting with customers. They're going to tell you things. Some things they're going to love. They're going to say, we love this. Do more of this. More, more, more. Other things they're not going to like. They're going to like, oh, I don't like this part of your product. It sucks. I hate it. Now, if one person says that, it doesn't matter. But if you hear that again and again and again and again, then you know, oh, man, this isn't good. I need to change it. Now, bef before you start your business, you don't know what is going to be successful and what's going to fail. You can think about it. You can do research. You can plan and plan and plan. But you're kidding yourself because you just really don't know. When I started Effortless English, I had strong ideas about teaching. I, ha I was teaching in a classroom, so I did have some ideas about what to do, how to do my lessons. But I didn't know for sure how the whole system would change and evolve. The Effortless English system changed and evolved from customers, from members giving me input, giving me ideas, giving me suggestions, telling me what they liked, telling me what they didn't like. As I heard that, I started to do things more and more and more, and I started to do other things less and less and less. For example, the mini story lessons. 
um, I, I was doing those in my classes in my school, but I wasn't doing them for effortless English. I wasn't recording them. And I recorded one. One day I thought, oh, I'll record a mini story lesson. And uh, I put it on the website. And wow, suddenly it was really popular. All the members love the mini stories. It was the most popular lesson. Now, looking in the rearview mirror, looking back, of course, I realized, well, of course. I mean, it's the most powerful lesson. I, I know why it's so it's, uh, popular. I understand why it's popular. It's probably the best method, the best lesson in our whole system. But, you know, at the time, I just didn't realize. I knew as a teacher that I really liked it, but I, I don't know why. I, I just didn't think about it. I didn't realize, oh, students are really going to love this. But after I did one, I just tried it, then I started getting all this feedback, all this input, all these members telling me, many stories, many stories, many stories, many stories, we love them. And so the many stories became really the central part of our system. And that's going to happen with your product or service also. No matter how good you think it is, no matter how good your idea is, it's not finished until you interact with customers. So, don't try to make a finished product in the beginning because you can't. Until you start selling it, you really don't know exactly what you need to do. So create a cheap demo instead. Create a, a basic version of your product or service. And then start trying, you know, add something. See what happens. Go ahead, start selling it. You can sell it really cheap if you think the quality is low. For example, <laughs> my uh, beginning English lessons. The quality was low. Uh, my audio equipment was not good, so the sound quality, eh, not so good. People complained about the sound quality. Um, the lessons were really simple. It was just, uh, I'd write an article and then I'd uh, uh, record myself reading the article. That was it in the beginning. That was all. And that was still useful, it's still very useful, and uh, a lot of students liked it. Um. But I knew, I was like, well, this isn't very much. This is not really very special. I think the students really liked me, mostly. They liked my personality, my energy. They also liked the topics, because the article topics were not normal. They were interesting and different topics. So there still was something special. But it wasn't a finished product. It was just a demo. They were demo lessons. And I charged very little money. I think I charged like $17 or I think actually in the very beginning I was charging like $7 or something. Very, very cheap. So that's okay. That's what you want to do. You want to take that same approach. Create a very cheap version of your product or service and start selling it. The, the thing is to start selling as fast as possible. Then you interact with customers. Then you start to understand what's working, what's not working. Then you can really go to extremes and, and, and go to edges and improve certain parts of the product or service, make them stronger, 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 the parts that your customers really love. And you can get rid of parts they don't like or that don't work. And then you can try again. So that's the main thing. First, create a demo version, a cheap, easy, fast version of your product or service. Just do it in like one week, okay? Do not try to be perfect. So now you got your demo. You've got your demo product, your little cheap, easy version of your product or service. What do you do next? Step two, create a cheap demo marketing plan. No, not plan, campaign. We're not going to plan very much with this method. We're going to take action. With the effortless success method, the bootstrapping method, we actually take action first and plan second. It's probably the most important idea you need to understand. 
Most people tell you plan, plan, plan. You write a big business plan. You go to, you read normal books about starting your own business. What do they tell you to do? Plan, write a business plan, write a 50 page business plan. Well, that's crazy. Okay, it's a waste of time. Don't waste your time doing that. Because you don't know, the truth is you have no idea. You really don't know what you're doing. So there's no point to write a business plan because you're clueless. You don't know what you're doing. Write the plan after you take some action. So you have your first action that you take is you very fast, very quickly, you create a cheap demo of your product or service. And next you create a very cheap demo marketing campaign. Right? You need to find people to buy your cheap demo. So how do you do that? What's a very cheap, fast, easy way to find customers for your demo? Well, I like the internet. So a super easy way is to create a cheap demo, probably very ugly, sales website page. <laughs> It's really easy. You go to uh, any internet provider. You could even use a blog for this. Uh, but, you know, I use GoDaddy. I have their website tonight. That's what I used. Uh, GoDaddy.com. And uh, you can get, they have a package called Website Tonight. And it's really easy, right? You don't, you don't need to know anything about the inter, uh, websites or programming. You just type, type and hit enter. Hit publish, and then you have a website. It's really super fast. You could use Blogger and, and use a blog even. So what do you do? You create this one page. What's on the page? Well, on the page, you just tell your story. You tell the story of your product or your service. Tell people why you are excited about it. Why are you excited about your product or service? What is cool or interesting about it? Why are you so really excited, enthusiastic, and passionate about it? How is it going to help them? Right? And you can write a lot. Don't, it doesn't need to be short. You can write it. It can be long. That's it. That's, that's your, your, your one-page uh, marketing website demo. Okay? You can type it up really fast. You don't need nice graphics. It doesn't need to look pretty. It can be very ugly. My first sales page was so ugly. Very, very ugly. Okay, so now you have a, you, now you have a demo, a cheap demo product or service. And now you have a, a cheap, probably ugly, demo website that tells people about your product or service. Tells them why you're excited. It tells stories about how it will help them. And at the bottom of that page, you need to have a link. If you're selling directly, then it can be a buy now link. You can use PayPal and you can create a little, you know, buy now and they click and then they buy now and use their credit card. That's what I did. So I used uh, PayPal for credit cards and uh, a little buy now link I got it from PayPal they gave it to me and then people would buy and get my little demo product it's really easy if you have a service if people need to actually see you well then you could have your phone number at the bottom call me now for an appointment or whatever you could have your uh, email they could enter their email and get on a list Something like that. There needs to be some action they take. So on your sales page, your cheap demo sales page, you need to have some action at the bottom, a strong action. They need to give you their email. They need to call you. They need to buy. Something like that. Okay? So you have a cheap demo product or service, number one. Number two, you've got your cheap, ugly demo web page. And at the bottom, there's some action. Okay, now what do you need? Step three. Well, you need people to come to your page. Right? They don't automatically come, I promise you. <laughs> okay, you have to bring them to your page. How do you do that? Well, the easiest way is Google AdWords, Google Advertising. 
And I, I prefer Google because they're the best. You can use Yahoo. They have advertising. And uh, MSN has advertising. But they're not as good. Google is definitely the best internet advertising company. So you go to Google. It's called AdWords. Okay, so you go to Google AdWords and you make an account. Create a username, a password. And uh, you uh, you got to pay them, of course. <laughs> so you give them your credit card information. Um, and then you create ads. And these are going to be cheap demo ads. Uh -huh, you, you see the pattern? Everything is cheap demo. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Nothing is perfect right now. So this is step three. You create your little advertisements, your Google advertisements. And what you do is first you uh, you bid on keywords. What does bid mean? It means you choose some keywords. Like, for example, for, for my English lessons, I cho choose keywords like English, learn English, listen English, English conversation, English lessons. These are keywords. These are words or phrases that people use to search Google, right? If they want to buy English lessons, well, they go to Google and they put in, they type, you know, learn English or they type English lessons and they search. So you need to choose, you, you can make a list and don't worry again, nothing's perfect. Just think of the most common ones you can think of. Later, you'll start adding more and more and more. You'll think of more and more. But in the beginning, you know, choose, I don't know, choose five, choose ten uh, really common keywords that are connected to, that are related to your product or service. Okay, like so for me, again, it was English lessons, English speaking, things like that. And then you need to bid. Bid means you decide how much money will you pay, pay to Google, whenever somebody clicks your ad. Right? They're going to click on your ad. They're going to see it, and they're going to click on it. Every time somebody clicks, you pay. Now, that's not bad. That's a good thing. Because if people don't click, you don't pay. That's why I love Google uh, and Internet advertising in general. You only pay when somebody does something. You only pay when somebody clicks. So that's really great. You're only paying when somebody's interested in your business. How much should you bid? Well, that's a complicated topic, in fact. But in the beginning, right now, you're just doing demos. You got a demo cheap product. You got a demo ugly web page. So you don't want to spend very much money right now in the beginning. So I recommend you bid only 10 cents or less. Less than 10 cents per click. Don't pay more. You don't want to lose money, right? You want to you want to make money here. So in the beginning when you start with your in your demo phase, this is what we're talking about right now in chapter 1, demo phase. In the demo phase, 10 cents per click is enough. Now, there's something else you must choose with Google AdWords. You need to choose a daily budget. How much will you spend each day on advertising? Well, that depends on how much money you have. But again, I recommend a very, very small budget in the beginning. Maybe $10 per day. I don't know, maybe $5 per day. I don't know how much money you have. But... I would say not more than not more than ten dollars per day in the beginning. So that would be about three hundred dollars per month. If that's too much, if you can't afford that, if you can't pay that, that's okay. Do five dollars a day. Do one dollar a day. Okay, it doesn't matter, but keep it low. Keep it under ten dollars a day for your daily budget. All right, so now you created your account. You uh, put some keywords in there. You chose keywords that are connected to, that are related to your product or service. You decided on a, a bid for your keywords, about 10 cents per click. And uh, you chose a daily budget, less than $10. Okay, there's one more step, and that is you need to create an ad, create an advertisement about your product or service.
Well, what's for the headline of the ad, it's really easy. Uh, use one of the keywords in your headline. So, for example, in my Google ads, the headline usually says learn English or English speaking, something like that. No, it's not interesting, but, you know, it's, it's connected to the keyword, and that's the important part for the headline of the ad. And then in the body of the ad, you have two lines you can use. Just say something uh, interesting about your product or service. It's good to ask questions sometimes. For example, you're a dentist. You could say, how can you make your teeth white? Question mark. That's your ad. People will click on it because they're curious. How can I make my teeth white? I don't know. Let's find out. All right, so questions are good for advertising in Google. I like questions. So think of a question related to your product or service. And then finally, the last part of the Google ad is uh, the link, the link to your sales page, your demo sales page, right? That's when people click the advertisement. That's where they're going to go. They're going to go to your sales page. They're going to read about your product or service. And then they're going to take some action. All right, so now here's the last trick with Google Ads. Create two ads. Create two. Do not create one, create two. Why two? Because Google does something very magical. Google lets you test your ads. You can have two ads, two advertisements, and they're different, okay? They, have, they need to be different. Maybe just the headline's different. Or maybe the body, maybe the question part is different. Or maybe they're both different. I don't know. But you have two ads, and they're different. So here's what happens. Over time, people click the ads. Google will show one ad one time. They'll show the, another ad the other time. So they alternate. They alternate your two different ads. Now, the great part is that after some time, you can see which one is most successful. There's a percent. There's a click percent. So one might get clicked 1%. It means uh, if 100 people see your ad, only one person clicks it, right? One out of 100 clicks your ad. But maybe the other ad has a 2% clicking rate called click-through rate, CTR, is what it's called in, with Google. So that means if 100 people see that ad, two of them click. Well, obviously, the 2% click rate is much better. So you just learn something. What do you do? Well, you keep the good ad. You keep the 2% ad. You say, ah, this one's better. And you delete the bad one. You delete the 1% ad. But you don't stop there. You do one more thing. Now you create another new ad. Another different one. This time you test it against the 2% ad. Maybe the new one will be 3%. Or maybe it will be less. I, you don't know. But you just keep testing. You never stop doing this. For your whole business forever, you're always testing new ads, new ads. You always keep the best one. And you always throw away the ones that are not good, that are less and then you always add another new one and test again and test again. Over time, when you do this, over time, you start finding better and better and better ads. You find better and better and better headlines. Your clicking rate goes up and up and up and up. That's great. What does that mean? It means more and more and more people coming to your web page, reading about your business, and hopefully buying. Okay, so we, let, let's cover, let's just review real quick, one more time, and then uh, we'll finish this chapter. So, we have a three-step process right now to begin your business. Number one, you create a demo product or service. That means a super cheap, super fast version of your product or service. You do not plan. You do not take a long time. And you definitely do not spend much money. Cheap, fast version of your product. A demo version of your product or service. Step two. You create a cheap, probably ugly, demo web page. 
can use GoDaddy.com. You can there are many. You can use a blogging service. There's lots of them out there. Quickly type up what you are excited about related to your product or service. I mean, why is it exciting? Why is it exciting to you? How will it help people? What is remarkable about it? So you explain all that, and you can write a lot. In fact, writing more is better than writing less. Make it long. Make it really long. Then at the bottom of that cheap demo web page, you have some action. Some action for your customers. You have a phone number for them to call, or you have uh, a place they can enter their email. They can get on your email list. Or you have a little button to buy now. So you need to have an action, a strong action. And you say, tell them what to do. Click here and buy now. Okay. Now later you will improve this page. You'll change the writing to make it uh, more powerful, uh, more detailed, with better information. Um, eventually in the future you'll change the design. Maybe you'll pay a professional so that it looks nice. But right now, cheap, fast demo with ac an action at the bottom. Okay, and finally, step three. You advertise on Google so that you can bring people to your page. Now, one quick note about this. What if you have a business that's only in one city, for example? For example, you're a dentist or a doctor. Um, well, when you advertise on Google... Another wonderful thing about Google, you can choose a geographic area. So if you, uh, let's say you live in San Francisco, you can go into your AdWords account, your Google AdWords account, and you can choose only San Francisco. So you will only advertise to people who are in San Francisco. Google will only show your ads on computers that are in San Francisco. Or if you live in Tokyo, then you, you, you know, focus only on Tokyo. So you can still use this system. Just choose the geographic area. Choose your city uh, in your Google account, your AdWords account, so that the advertising advertisements only show in your area. Okay, so anyway, step three then is create a cheap demo advertising campaign using Google. So you go to Google AdWords. Let's do a search, Google AdWords. You go to their website. You create your account. Then you choose keywords. You choose words that are related to your product, related to your service. Just try to imagine what if a customer was looking for your business, what words would they put in Google? What would they search for? And think of a lot of different ones and put that in there. And then you're going to bid on those. You're going to decide how much money to pay for each click. Remember, less than 10 cents. And then finally, you're going to choose a budget, uh, a daily budget. Remember, less than $10. And then you're going to create two advertisements, right? The headline a body, two lines, and your link to your demo sales page. And remember, you always run two ads. And then after, I don't know, after two weeks, after one month, you choose the ad that has the highest percent. You choose the best ad. You keep it. And you get rid of the worst ad. Then you test another one against the best ad. And you keep doing that every month, every month. And your ads get better, better, better. Okay, so that is the beginning. That is the basic beginning demo process, demo phase of your business. All right, let's go on to chapter two.